Hi Aries, it's me, G1 Rider with G1 Insights, and today is your life and love focus for the month of June 2019. Happy summer for all of you beautiful people out there. Okay, so please share and like and subscribe to this channel. Please share this message around the world because everyone needs to hear this message. Okay, so this is for Aries, Sun, Moon, and Rising, okay? I have some wonderful news for you, Aries. It seemed like, right, remember that time where it was like you just couldn't seem to work past that broken heart or you may have felt like you were stuck and you couldn't move on and blah, blah, blah. Whew, that's what you're gonna be doing. Whew, finally. I'm so glad I'm over it. I'm so glad it's over. I'm so glad I'm done with school. I'm so glad this baby is out. I'm so glad we finally got married. I'm just glad, I'm glad, I'm glad. <laughs> and there's a sense of release with all of you fire signs. And it's mind blowing. It's funny to me, actually. I think it's beautiful that you all are going through this phase right now because you do have a tendency to just be loyal to the bone. You get what I'm saying? And I feel like a lot of you are like, nope, I'm done. I'm so excited. I'm over him. I'm so excited. I got my new house. I'm so excited that I lost my weight. I'm so excited that I'm gaining some weight. I just feel like you guys are like, yes, finally, I'm, I'm getting back to me. Like, it's like a sense of release. And it's interesting because Leo was very kind of sad like their their energy was very like low a little bit but they were kind of experiencing the same thing like that energy of release so this is really really good i love this for you aries i really really do because it shows growth okay it shows maturity that you are ready you're walking away you're closing the door behind you you're not looking back well, at least that's what the universe would like for you to do. If you have not already begun to make some of these changes, there are some things you may want to begin to release. And that is like any type of old patterns, any old habits, fighting, yelling, cussing, you know, <laughs> I don't know, being bossy maybe, right? Or maybe perhaps being too impulsive. Well, you can't really help that. That's just a big part of your personality. But I will say that the universe is definitely on your side this season, okay? Like you literally get the okay to just move on. And this can be anything. This could be, you know, only you guys know what the universe is talking about. What are you walking away from this season? What is it? Well, what are you done with this season? Are you done with that job? Are you, did you finally find a career that really suits you? You know, did you finally give birth? <laughs> are you giving birth this season? You know, and if not to an actual physical baby, are you giving birth to a new project? Are you giving birth to a new found you? What is it? I feel like you're stepping into this, ah, I'm doing me. Feeling really new, really refreshed. Um, I don't know. I just, I don't, I feel like this reading is about to be really, really simple. Like, seriously. You were struggling with some type of heart broke, like broken heart. Like, it could have been just from self inflicting pain that you may have been going through or things that somebody else have been taking you through it could have also been a financial situation something is definitely being worked out in your favor this season and it's literally um something that you guys have been really looking forward to and i feel like you're in a perfect mental space right now where you can finally get back to you where you can finally get back in touch with your creativity for a lot of you your creativity has been blocked you have not been able to write a lot of you have not been able to sing a lot of you have not been able to go dancing not because you can't or you, it just been whatever other issues you've been going through just been kind of causing that blockage a lot of you haven't even been having sex honey really like seriously <laughs> the beginning of june you may still be going through some of that, okay? But give it about a, about a third week of June. 
No later. Give it to like the third week of June. I guarantee you, you'll be feeling so much better. If you're not feeling better already, then you will be feeling better by the third week of June. Because there's something about this energy in the month of June that causes us to get much more in depth with ourselves, And it causes us to kind of re-get to know ourselves all over again, right? And I feel like you, Aries, are going through that phase where you're getting to know you all over again. Ah, I remember I love to do music. I used to love to sing. I used to love to work out. I used to love to do yoga. And lately, it hasn't been that way. So this season, you finally get to walk away from whatever the hell has had you caught up in bondage. And that could be a relationship, a career, um, a home environment, right? Maybe you guys were financially going through some things and didn't have a home, okay? Maybe you were not healthy the way that you would like to have been so healthy. I just feel like whatever it was that you really, really love, it just hasn't been there. And again, Leo have been going through a lot of these same issues. So this is interesting because I really think it's a fire sign thing. Like a lot of you guys are going through this period of release where I'm getting back to me or I'm walking away or I need to walk away because I need to be happy. I need my peace of mind. I need my sanity. I don't trust you. I don't trust this situation and I want my peace of mind. And that is so beautiful. I'm so thankful for you in this very moment, in this season, because I can only see and just just touch and feel your vibration. Like I can just feel it, you know, like it's so vibrant and it's like, yes, I'm happy. I'm finally doing me. You know, I finally got the career of my, my choice and I finally got married. I'm finally engaged. I finally am getting pregnant. Like this is amazing. This is like, like the, the universe is just like, here you go. Like little sprinkles of love. I love this. And that broken heart that you had or that pain that you felt about a particular situation, I feel like it was really, really weighing you down for some months now. And it's like in the month of May, you were kind of already feeling like you needed to make some changes. And some of you did do that, so good for you. And then some of you were kind of skeptical and kind of lazy and was like, hmm, maybe I shouldn't really do this. And then some of you were like, well, maybe I should because it was only the right thing to do. Uh, sorry, I got thirsty. So, you know, so again, a lot of you just been going through that phase of I'm not sure. I'm not sure what to do. And it tells, even with your, your sacred chakra coming out here, it talks a lot about, you know, your creativity or anything that was really blocked, like not having enough sex, not really having enough fun, not really being... Um, receptive or allowing yourself to feel. You get what I'm saying? Aries, in this season, you get to feel. And that is amazing because that means that you are feeling, okay? And when you're feeling, that means you are raising your vibration. You are feeling something. You are feeling like something is, is pushing you to do your best. You're feeling like that. It, I don't know. It's like... I just, it's explosive. Thank you, universe, okay? Something is just like exploding inside of you. And it's, it's a feeling that that you just have not had for a while, a really long time for a lot of you, right? And this season is like, excuse me, I'm coming through. I got this, okay? Like, man, your energy is really confident this season. It's really, really confident. So this is really good, Aries. This is really good. And if you, even if you're going through something at this very moment of watching this video, I want you to know that your confidence will return. That soulmate will return. Not the same one that you have, but you may get another one. You may actually even meet someone new this season just because you are literally raising your vibration without really trying to um, actually do it. Like, <laughs> um, and I think it's because, you know, your energy is shifting. Okay. And so because you are naturally feeling better, you're taking better care of yourself. You're feeling more in love. You're feeling more in love with yourself, more in love with life. And so it's only natural that you do meet someone new. So for those of you that are single and looking, 
Look out because someone is definitely may, definitely may come at you this season, okay? And it's because your vibration is so loud. Like, I'm telling you, I felt it. I felt the peace when I was shuffling your cards. I felt it. I felt good. I felt happy. And, you know, so peace is like literally your best friend this season, okay? For Leo, it was harmony. For you, Aries, just peace. That's all you want. That's all you ever wanted. And how could you find peace in a place where you don't really feel peaceful? If you're frustrated and life is falling apart and you have no money, no job, or your job is shitty, or your husband is acting up, or your wife got a stink-ass attitude, or your kids is acting up in school, like, it's almost impossible if your credit score is jacked up, you want to get a house, but you can't afford it for whatever reason, right? It's okay. Let me tell you something. In the very beginning of June, you may get denied something, but you getting denied because the universe don't want you to be there. So look at these situations as a blessing, okay? And that's the thing, the message, overall thing I want to share with you five times. Everything that was once shut in your face recently, look at these things as a blessing, okay? If something was separated or taken away or something that you truly desired did not come through, look at it as a blessing because there's something greater coming to you. By the third week, going on the fourth week of June, you will be getting to see how your energy is shifting. You will definitely be a lot more confident. So go after what you want, but please wait up until at least... After that new moon in Gemini, then you'll feel a lot better. Because at least for the first and second week, we're still going to be dealing with a lot of that new moon in Gemini energy. But as the sun begins to go into Cancer, you will feel a lot more confident. You will be, you may be a bit emotional about your progress, or you may cry and break down because you can't believe something is actually working out in your favor. And that's okay. There's no need for you to worry, Erie. So if, if anything, if I were you, I would just freaking celebrate this season have fun go out enjoy yourself mingle meet someone new catch up with some old friends that you haven't seen in a while hell get out and go meet some new friends okay it's gonna be one hell of a season for you especially this summer but i can't really go too deep into it just yet but i will tell you that you are going to have a tremendous beautifully summer okay so i love you aries okay but there's no need to worry guys Everything is literally working out in your favor. So I love you. Please like and share and comment below. Let me know what you guys are thinking and feeling about this video. Check out my website, g1insights.org. If you would like a reading personally just for you. Bye, Aries.